Football has the power to enthrall, to captivate. And this occasion appears irresistible. Two magnificent sides intent upon impressing the wider world with a display of technical and tactical brilliance. So much riding on this and an atmosphere to match the mood. Stay with us on EA TV. And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It is Bayern Munich versus Dinamo Zagreb. Well, Derek, although the hosts are clear favourites, this could prove to be a tricky game for them unless they score an early goal because their opponents will sit deep, remain compact and defend with determination. They also pose a threat on the counter-attack and are really good at set plays. It's going to be an interesting one. This is how it looks for the home side. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Martin Baturina. And options in the centre. Great defending. Over it comes. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. And over the touchline for what will be a Bayern throw-in. Serge Gnabry. Gnabry with it. Oh, the threat is there. A really top-notch piece of defending. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, it's lovely technique, as you can see. He just wraps his foot around the ball and bends it beyond the keeper. That's a good goal. Back underway, 1-0 it is. Well, the pass not finding its target. And Kane comes into the move. Good-looking attack, this. Incisive pass. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. Corner from Kimmich, not the best clearance. Well, they couldn't keep hold of it. Lima, crossing opportunity, the cut back, Kimmich. Oh, an incredible clearance! I must say, I didn't see that coming. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. 
Once again, couldn't keep hold of it. Kane. He's in behind. And a goal here for Bayern. It's going to be so difficult to thwart them now. away with the lead standing at 2-0 Martin Baturina what can he do with it now but nothing comes of it and he takes it on and a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, what can you say about this? It's hit so cleanly with exactly the right amount of bend on it. And he does so well to get it back down in time once it goes over the wall. Excellent strike. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Guerrero. Serge Gnabry Jamal Musiala Kimmich It's opening up for them And blocked there Oh yes, what a pass Well, that has been deemed offside, Stuart Well, he took too long to get the pass away It's as simple as that Could be dangerous. Oh, but there's defensive diligence for you when things look dangerous. Now, options are plenty. That's a good looking ball. Just the challenge that was required. So, nearing the break, and it's Bayern holding the edge. Stuart, how about your critique of their performance so far? Well, it's been a good first half so far, and they've been the better side, certainly going forward. They now just need to keep playing with intensity right up to the break. Takes it on! Tremendous block. Very quick thinking there. Conrad Leimer. Serge Gnabry. Guerrero, it's there for him, a goal for Bayern to extend their advantage. Well here it is, 1v1 against the keeper and the outcome was never really in doubt. We never looked like this in that.
action continues and no shortage of goals 3-1 as things stand would have been a foul but instead advantage Bayern and he's through here and he's made it a brace for himself the defenders just unable to stay with him and he's having a field day well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. But should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. once more and Bayern Munich really cantering to victory now Piazza and three minutes will be added on for stoppages and the flag has been raised here well there can't have been a lot in that Wait on the pass. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Piazza. That's a good looking ball. And the chance is on. And a fine stop. So the corner played into the box and dealt with it nicely. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason, Stuart. He's putting in a really authoritative performance here. Well, he's been a joy to watch so far. He's got so much ability and it was also a very good finish for his goal. He's been excellent. And back in business here, Bayern very much bossing it in the first 45. Let's see what this half has in store for us. Harry Kane slips it through. Nicely timed tackle. Kim Conrad Leimer it's got to be well he had the scent of a hat-trick in his nostrils but not this time well he keeps getting into good positions he'll surely get another chance before the end of the game Not great distribution from the keeper. Piazza. And he takes it on. Oh, good work by the keeper. Playing it in. A really meat and drink to the keeper under the circumstances. Teofil Katarin. It's with Josip Mišić. Nicely saved.
Played over. No nonsense piece of defending. Played towards the back post. And the shot. Well, how on earth did Manuel Neuer get there? And they're making a change. Who can they pick out? And that's an example of how to do it, dealing with a corner. And there the move ends for now. Guerrero, intense pressure, given away by Guerrero, Piazza, delivered into the area here, well, you've got to conclude that it was completely overhit. Kane, Lima, very quick thinking there. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Defenders need to cover. Played into the centre. Cleared away. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And Rafael Guerrero has lost the ball. Distributing it well. Piazza. He might yet finish, and Kimmich puts his body on the line. Kane. Now with Kimmich. Konrad Leimer. Kimmich. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Mishic getting forward cuts it back fine tackle there to prevent the chance took a really smart piece of defending to stop them Gnabry. Guerrero. Kane. Now Kimmy. Lima on the ball. Can he create an angle? And a goal here! There it is! They've done it! He's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. It's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now.
Oh, bruising past him. Really good diving save. Going short. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, he's certainly not alone. Can he put it away? Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. A good vision there. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Oh, great vision. Coman. And that's great work to keep it in play. And there goes the final whistle. A home defeat to begin the group stage. And they're going to have to make up for this in future games. Well, that's not the result they were looking for. It makes the next game really important now. They need to respond in that one. As usual, Harry Kane, difficult to defend against. What did you make of what he actually did out there on the pitch? Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.